Welcome! This video discusses metal conditioning and pre-treatment of steel and aluminum panels. The process for steel and aluminum is very similar. In this video I'm working with aluminum. Regardless of the metal, we always start by cleaning the panel. In this case I'm using a solvent-based cleaner and then scuffing the panel with the solvent cleaner in all directions in a crosshatch pattern and that makes sure to remove any oxides and other surface contaminants. The purpose of this entire process is to clean the panel, remove oxides, and then condition the surface of the panel to allow uh, the panel to accept a primer undercoat. And on top of that, it also allows the panel to have good corrosion protection. It etches into the panel. So as I'm cleaning this panel in all directions with this crosshatch pattern, I'm scuffing quite thoroughly. When you're dealing with aluminum, it does take quite a bit of scuffing. Not as much effort is required on a steel panel. Then I'm rinsing the panel clean with more solvent and I will make sure to wipe it dry and rinse if needed again to remove any of those oxides. With aluminum, those oxides turn a dark gray or almost black color, which we can see running off the panel. And you'll also see in the cleaning towel here in a moment. Make sure that once you dry the panel, that there's no beading on the panel. If the material beads off, then contaminants still remain. After using the solvent-based cleaner, I'm going to clean the panel with a product called AlumaPrep 33, which is designed specifically for aluminum panels. What it does is it cleans and conditions the aluminum to remove any other oxides or surface contaminants that were not removed with the solvent-based cleaner. And this is based on phosphoric acid technology, which basically bites and eats into the aluminum to help lift and remove any deep contaminants. Although the solvent cleaner does a good job, you do need the Aluma Prep 33 on aluminum to get really deep into that aluminum and remove any contaminants from the pores. This is what the product looks like uh, once it's mixed. It's reduced with water and then applied to the panel. You'll see once it's applied to the panel how it foams up, it reacts with the aluminum. That's the acid in there. So you want to use a scuff pad and then apply the product in all directions, making sure to scuff very thoroughly. This product again will bite into the panel and remove oxides. You'll probably see some dark gray starting to show up in your pad and draining off the panel. That again is uh, more oxides coming out of that panel. If you're doing a big area, start from the bottom and work your way up to prevent the material from dripping in and etching into uh, the areas in the panel which you have not yet scuffed. Avoid letting the product dry on the panel. So always follow the correct directions and procedures for your particular product. This one is mixed, three parts water to one part cleaner, but that could vary depending on the manufacturer of the actual uh, product that you're using. If you're using a steel product, the product that you'll use is called Galvaprep, which is also based on phosphoric acid, and it will be applied in the same manner using a scuff pad, and then it also may need to be reduced with water or diluted depending on what the manufacturer's recommendations are. The Galva Prep can be used on galvanized steel, zinc coated steel, or bare uncoated steel, which then of course also cleans and conditions the metal. And that's a one step process, uh, which is then rinsed off as we'll be seeing here in the video. So whether you're using the Galva Prep or the aluminum prep, so whether you're working with steel or aluminum, you must rinse the product off afterwards. Do not let the product dry on the panel. If the product does dry on the panel, clean it, and then repeat the process with either your Luma Prep or your, your Galva Prep. Any material that dries on there will leave contamination for you, uh, which must be removed. If the water beads off at any stage during the process, the water that beads is a sign that the area is not actually fully cleaned and free of contaminants. So make sure to re-clean and prep those areas if you see beading water. After working with the Luma Prep, then you'll take Allodyne, as seen here, and apply it to the panel with a red scuff pad, starting from the bottom, working your way up. Again, scuffing in all directions very thoroughly, making sure you get deep into the pores of the aluminum. This product is designed to etch into the metal, which provides good corrosion protection and adhesion on the bare aluminum based on chromic acid. Thus, it's a chromate product. When working with steel, Allodyne is not necessary, the Galva Prep, as mentioned, is a one-step product that does leave a material on there. Once the product is applied over the entire panel, you can let it sit for a limited period of time, usually no more than uh, three to five minutes, of course, read the technical data sheet for your product, and then rinse it off. Do not let the product dry on the surface. 
Once you've rinsed the product, again, check for beading. If there's any areas that are beading, then the panel is not fully clean. You will see some more oxidization coming off there, and this panel is now complete. Here we see the aluminum panel, which has been cleaned, conditioned, and converted, ready for primer. You'll see on the left side the cleaned panel, and on the right side that was masked, you see the difference in color. That panel still has oxides on it. There are other products such as Rust Mort or products from Pore 15, which are designed to clean and in some cases remove oxides from panels. They're based on very similar technology using phosphoric acid. Make sure to read the technical data sheets for those products if you're using those conversion coatings. The reality is that most collision shops today do not use metal conditioners or conversion coatings. They'll use etch primers or similar products. In our paint line, however, we have these pre-treatment wipes, which are sometimes referred to as etch wipes. They will be used in a similar manner to our conditioner and conversion coating. However, they are used a little differently. Pre-clean the panel with your solvent cleaner, scuff or prep as needed, and then apply the product in all directions in a crosshatch manner, making sure we don't miss any areas. The panel should stay wet for approximately a minute, and then you'll see it start to dry. As it dries, it will leave a coating behind which is very similar again to the conversion coating. So the panel is then ready to accept our primer product. Therefore, we get really good adhesion and corrosion protection through this process. Regardless of the pretreatment process used, the metal must be coated with an appropriate primer in a reasonable amount of time. Otherwise, the metal could oxidize again. The best product to use is a two component epoxy primer as seen here or if not available, a two component urethane primer or primer sealer can be applied over the converted metal. Due to VOC and environmental regulations, paint manufacturers have had to reduce or remove the use of certain chemicals in paint and primer products, one of which is zinc phosphate, which provides very good adhesion and corrosion protection on metals. Zinc phosphate used to be found in several primers and was also created on metal when using galvaprep. Main manufacturers have had to find new ways of providing good adhesion and corrosion protection, which is why, if available, metal conditioners and conversion coatings do provide the best adhesion and corrosion protection today, much better than most current etch and epoxy primers. Fortunately, most paint manufacturers today have created products that are VOC compliant, provide good adhesion, good corrosion protection, which meets the requirements for vehicle repairs, as well as makes the products easier to apply than conventional conversion coatings. As you can see in the process, it would be very challenging to use conversion coatings on all bare metal that we deal with in the body shop. Thank you for watching.